All right, uh, I'm going to show you how I design my custom abutments and manually punch the screw hole through the crown to make it a screw mintable. Uh, we're going to start back at the beginning um, and I'll show you how uh, I design my abutments and um, crowns. So let's get started. Um, this is a true abutment, no bell replace. Titanium abutment, and we'll adapt this. Okay, let's draw the runner's profile. Um, this is an upper molar. So it's on exactly a rectangle shape. It's a little more, I think the, the rhomboidal. Okay, uh, let's find the crown that we're going to place. And I'm going to use my rainbow library. Place this where it belongs first. Always into occlusion first, and then we pull it out. Check these inside the edges. Uh, this will also allow us to do a split file, so we can mill out the crown at the same time that we mill out the abutment. That's why I'm designing this one more carefully. Okay. Now we have our ideal tooth shape. And now we can design our abutment. Okay, I use this blacked out and grayed area right here is kind of like my guide for uh, the, the margin design right here um, so we kind of want it to make it look a little bit like that okay um, don't worry about how ugly this looks right now because when we detach it from the tissue it'll straighten everything out you just hold down control and then it straightens it out some minor adjustments here. Okay, now this is gonna be a titanium abutment, so we need to drop the margin. Um, let's remove the crown. And this is actually above the tissue, so let's scoot this in a little bit. bottom angle over first and then the top angle okay we need to get rid of drop this below the gum get these below the gums too try to avoid any uh, food trap areas that's why I don't like the, the wax up feature it's easier to create a, a clean surface area of the abutment. Okay. And um, the other thing I do on these uh, titanium abutments, I think default to set a point two gives you a thick margin that you have to finish down. So I do point oh one for titanium. If it's just a screw tin crown on top of a tie base then I'll set this at zero because it's all one piece anyways. It gives it a little bit of a thickness when it gets milled out so it doesn't chip or fray or look ugly. Um, so this is pretty decent for now. Uh, we'll probably scoot this over here a little bit. Okay. Now we'll find detail the crown. Take the 
this note. Now we need to smooth out this area. I just use the smooth tool with shift. I think it should hip shift. Smooth this up. Let's see, we got a nice emergence profile. bulky. No one likes a bulky lingual. It's really annoying. Alright, let's uh, I always cut my uh, set of conclusion point one first. Actually, let's do this. This is two. No, the right size. Alright, perfect. Uh, cut, and then I will drop the crown down with shape preserving 0.25 take it out of occlusion and you know what we can also make this contact a little bit more broad okay um, since this is a screw tank crown we gotta make sure that we use the disc and that's this right here it's already set up as the same view as the access hole, the same insertion direction. So don't hit these arrows right here, just do the side ones. And I'll help you get rid of any undercuts underneath the, or any areas underneath the uh, contact that'll hang that with the crown. Okay, so we can just cut. Okay, now crown uh, abutment design. First thing I do is I line up all of my points. I put a point for each cusp. Here and then I put a point at the mesial and the distal for the marginal ridge. Okay, let's check this. Drop this down. up a nice shoulder, hold down control, okay, and then smooth, sometimes you can do this to smooth it up, nice even surface, okay, now we got our abutment and our crown, it's perfect, uh, the last thing I do, um, sometimes this is necessary, sometimes it's not, you can right click and you can see the wireframe, Everything's pretty solid. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, nice and evenly distributed triangles here. If you need to fix these triangles, you can go to the smooth tool and then hold down control. It'll turn it purple. And then just um, fix the triangles. And these were already fine, so not really that big of a deal. We can go over the whole surface. Um, And then uh, that's it. Um, if you need, to fr I didn't need a free form, so that wasn't a big deal. But we want, oh, we want to make sure that we uh, we need to punch the hole through the crown for as a screw mental. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, these are just the basic settings that I use. I always add a little bit of extra gap right where the screw hole is in case it doesn't get milled out perfectly. There's a little room for air right here. this up. Uh, the trick is you got to make sure you merge everything together so go at expert mode. Um, I'm going to merge the save restoration. I always optimize just habit. Uh, and then we would turn on our screw hole. We're going to freeform merge restoration. Uh, attachment, subtract. 
go down here to extrusion. We're going to find the circle right here. Now I'm going to line up my view on this computer screen so that I can not even see the circle. About right there. I'll click here. I'll click view. So if you click view, I'll show you what it looks like. So it'll angle this cylinder to the view that I have. So that's why I take a look at, go straight down on the screw hole. Can be kind of a pain sometimes. There are other ways to do it, but this is just fine. Uh, okay, so now we need to make the same size as the screw hole. Usually they're about 1.2. This one's a little bit bigger. Alright, uh, this is the length of the circle right here. You see, you want to make sure you're all the way through. Click on apply, allow any changes. If you don't click on this, it won't go through the minimum thickness threshold. Click apply, and then click OK. And now you have your crown on the screw mentable accessible.